Ian Armitage, known for his role in A Young Sheldon, made a surprising transformation into young Stephen Colbert on The Late Show, as his seven-season stint on CBS's hit series comes to an end. Colbert, taken aback by his unexpected guest, inquired about Armitage's presence, to which he revealed his readiness for a new project within the CBS world. The comedic exchange led to Armitage unveiling his impression of Colbert, signaling a potential spin-off. Meanwhile, as young Sheldon concludes, the creative team behind the show reflects on the emotional journey, particularly addressing the pivotal moment of George's off-screen passing. Showrunner Steve Holland emphasizes the importance of balancing humor and heart in the series finale, ensuring a poignant yet uplifting conclusion. With appearances from Jim Parsons and Mayim Bialik, the finale promises to tie up loose ends while setting the stage for future narratives. Tune in to CBS tonight for the heartfelt yet humorous two-part series finale of O Young Sheldon. Welcome to Young Sheldon Update, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of Young Sheldon Update, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Ian Armitage, star of A Young Sheldon, transforms into young Stephen Colbert on Late Show A Video. Star Ian Armitage needs a new project because his seven seasons on CBS of A Young Sheldon are ending this Thursday night. Fortunately, it seems that he discovered it at The Late Show. The 15-year-old actress visited the Late Night program on Wednesday to appear in a pre-recorded segment with Stephen Colbert, the host. Ian Armitage, the star of A Young Sheldon on CBS, Why Are You Here? As his unexpected visitor materialized from a rack of suits, Colbert inquired. Well, Stephen, as you may have heard, Young Sheldon's series finale is tomorrow night, Armitage answered. I'm getting ready for my next project. It's an additional prequel set in the CBS world. Colbert went on to make some educated guesses as to which show, Young Tracker, Young Equalizer, and Young Bob Hart's Young Abishala, would be receiving this kind of treatment. Then Armitage responded, young Stephen Colbert, donning a pair of glasses. I'm aware of your talent, but are you really capable of portraying me? In response, the comic said, I'm pretty complex. Never fear. Armitage comforted, saying, I've studied countless hours of footage so I can capture your essence with the utmost accuracy. He then demonstrated his impression-making prowess by declaring, I love a Lord of the Rings. Whoa! That's strange, Colbert said. This show is going to be huge, congratulations! The entire A Young Sheldon segment featuring Stephen Colbert may be seen above. Following its September 2017 premiere, the seven-season run of the A Big Bang Theory spin-off concludes on Thursday. The 2024-2025 season of O Young Sheldon will subsequently be succeeded by a spin-off named Georgie and Mandy's First Marriage. The creative team had to figure out a method to shock viewers without giving away the major death, as viewers knew it was coming. We thought, if we do it earlier than they're thinking, maybe we can catch people off guard, Holland said. The showrunner reveals that until creator Chuck Lorre intervened with an important note, the funeral was really scheduled to be the series' end. As we were talking about it, it was Chuck who said, This show has been such a positive family show, Holland says. We shouldn't let the audience dwell in sorrow. Instead of doing that at the conclusion, let's give them a small ramp out of it and allow the conclusion to have a little bit more hope in it. That was the transformation in those final two episodes. Beginning with a funeral, the Thursday episode block culminates in Memoir, the series finale, which features Jim Parsons and Mayim Bialik reprising their roles from Big Bang. They're in the best episodes Holland said they've ever done. The funeral scenes were the most difficult to film, he says. Writing it brought a lot of tears to the room. While filming it, many tears were shed on the set. Many tears had been shed during the editing process as the funeral was repeatedly viewed. 
Although I was quite proud of the scripts, I was heartbroken to watch this cast deliver them. Although I think the cast has been excellent for the past seven years, I hope they are acknowledged for their outstanding performance in the law. SD2 Episodes Holland notes that while ending young Sheldon after seven years is a challenging task in and of itself, considering the Big Bang Theory's reputation, it also feels like the end of an even longer era. It's weird, I've been lucky enough to now do two long-running shows, and ending them is always a tricky and emotional thing, adds the actor. It's depressing. Reaching the finish line and feeling like we made a solid landing feels a little bit relieving. I sincerely hope that viewers will share my immense pride in how we've concluded this season. Hopefully there will be more than just devastation, perhaps there will be some joy and hope as well. Next, there won't be too much emotion in the A Young Sheldon as series finale. Throughout the course of the seven seasons of the program, Young Sheldon has consistently explored emotional arcs while maintaining a healthy dose of humor and heart. Finally, George's death, which had been hanging over the program like a rain cloud waiting to burst, happened, and even though it occurred off-screen, it had a significant impact. The program will revisit and conclude the plot as George's funeral takes place in the forthcoming hour-long series finale before moving on to finish up other plots. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Steve Holland, the showrunner of Young Sheldon, emphasized the significance of providing a humorous conclusion to the narrative. He disclosed that their intention was to prevent George's passing from overshadowing the series' conclusion and leaving viewers with a bad taste in their mouths. We shouldn't let the audience dwell in sorrow. Instead of doing that at the conclusion, let's give them a small ramp out of it and allow the conclusion to have a little bit more hope in it. That was the transformation in those final two episodes. There will be a balanced end to the A Young Sheldon is series. The hardest moments to film were the burial scenes. As it was being written, there were many tears in the room. While filming it, many tears were shed on the set. Many tears had been shed during the editing process as the funeral was repeatedly viewed. Although I was quite proud of the scripts, I was heartbroken to watch this cast deliver them. Although I think the cast has been excellent for the past seven years, I hope they are acknowledged for their outstanding performance in the last two episodes. In reference to the series finale, Jim Parsons and Mayim Bialik will be returning to their respective roles. Parsons had similar thoughts to Holland, adding, I read the script without anticipating this finale's developments. I believe it to be. I find it to be simply stunning. Though it keeps faithful to its comedy, I find it to be poignant. It's quite humorous. The series finale will not only tell George's narrative but also send Sheldon to college, launch Mandy and Georgie's spin-off, and establish the direction for the other characters. Watch the two-part series finale tonight on CBS at 8 p.m. The Young Sheldon season finale, which features George's heartfelt farewell, finds a happy medium between humor and heart. The showrunner, Steve Holland, stresses that a humorous ending should not overwhelm George's passing. In the series finale, Jim Parsons and Mayim Bialik make a comeback, promising a sentimental but hilarious ending. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Young Sheldon Update, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.